What's up Video Fort Nation? This is Video Fort Ruan with another awesome Video Fort tutorial. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at how to import our image sequence into 3ds Max so that we can actually match our footage to our CG elements that we are going to import into 3ds Max. So not really that difficult. So first of all, we need to go to rendering here at the top. And then we're going to go to environment because we want to load an environment into our scene. Okay, then you're going to click on this environment map where it says none. Just click on that. And it's going to ask you what type of file you want to load. And we want to load an image sequence. So we're going to double click on bitmap. Okay, then what you need to do is you need to browse to the folder where you exported that image sequence from After Effects or the one that you've downloaded from the project files. And then you click on the first image, which says frame number one. And then very importantly, make sure you're at the bottom that your sequence is ticked because that will actually tell 3ds Max to use every single frame in this sequence. Okay, so with that selected, we're going to click on open. This window, you can just leave everything default. We're going to click on OK. And then your map will be loaded into your environment map. Okay, the next step is you want to press M on your keyboard to open your material editor. And then we're going to take this environment map that we've loaded here and we're going to click and drag this into our material editor, release, and then we're going to choose instance and click on OK. So this is just so that we can change some of the parameters on this map. So make sure you double click on this map to go into the properties. And then the first thing we're going to change is the type of mapping. So currently it's set to spherical and we don't really want to wrap that material around our scene. We just want to display it as a background for now. So just click on this drop down and we want to select screen. And then one more step, we're going to go all the way down to time. So just click on time to expand it. And then very importantly, we want to set the starting frame to one. And the reason for that is that our timeline here at the bottom is actually starting at frame one. And by default, 3ds Max starts on zero. So we're starting at one. So we're going to set that to one as well. Okay, let's close down our material editor. We are done with all those settings. And let's also close down the environment and effects window. And then make sure that you click in your camera uh, viewport here at the bottom to select it. And then we're going to go up to view here at the top and go to viewport background. And then we're going to set that to environment background. Cool. Then your image will actually show up in your viewport. And if we scrub through this, you'll see that all these little dots are actually sticking to the floor. And let's go into our time configuration, this icon here at the bottom. And then we're going to disable this real time playback. So just take that tick off and then click on OK. And let's do another playthrough. So just click on this play button and it should play back a little bit slower, but it's actually going to show you every single frame. And um, yeah, you can see that these little dots are actually sticking to the floor. So the track is looking good. And um, that's basically how you import your image sequence into 3ds Max. And in the next video, we can actually start to import some geometry and placing that into our scene. Also, remember to check out video4.com, your number one source for stock footage. I'll see you guys in the next video.